Welcome everybody to a brand new experiment. This is Mortal Shell, or at least I think it's going to be. Uh, I am testing for the very first time the uh, Prime Gaming Luma service. So I have no idea how well this is going to work. And uh, you're gonna come along for the journey if you are so inclined. There's a couple of things happening here. Prime Gaming is giving this game away for the next few days. And so this is going to be more of a, hey, let's see if I like Mortal Shell. But I want to get a chance to get into it. And uh, this is first run. This is a chance to take a look at the graphics, take a look at uh, the gameplay, and figure out if it's something that I can endure. So with very little further ado, I'm going to wait for this to load. and maybe edit out all the black screens. There we go. Okay, we've got a load screen. Your controller is now ready for gameplay. Well, that's good. That's exactly what I would expect. English. Okay, adjust the brightness of the screen until the symbol on the left is barely visible. I mean, it's barely visible. Kind of like that. I am going to turn it up just one more click simply because YouTube sometimes dims things a wee bit. Automatically lock on next target on enemy death. Um, maybe not. Enemy health indicator. Yeah, I. Mm, let's. I don't know. Let's try visible on hit for now. Let's just see how visible on hit works. Yeah. Enemy health indicator opacity. Well, make it, uh, make it low opacity. This is kind of, kind of transparent then, right? Um, let's leave it on low. Damage numbers, yes. I like seeing those sometimes. I know how much I'm doing. Hold to dismiss. No. Thank you, no. I don't, well, hmm. We'll see how that goes, but I'm going to turn it off. Confirm that. I hate having to hit a button to dismiss a prompt. New game. Okay, Ooh, we got uh, spooky season stuff going on here. Let's take a look at options. This is all about the menuing. This particular episode is episode zero. And if you don't know how I do that, this is it. I'm going to look at the menus. I'm going to set my settings. And after that, episode one will be the beginning of gameplay. So if you don't want to see any more, cancel this one out and go on to video number one, because that's actually going to be where things start language. We are English seasonal content i mean why not enable it i have no idea there's no reason why not to controller icons this is an xbox controller that i'm currently using uh same okay hud scale default hidden default medium large hidden how about we just go default i have no idea i might change that between hither and yon ui scale same thing right subtitle scale i don't know i'm going to assume that the defaults are pretty decent camera shake not i don't want a whole lot Let's turn it down about half. Force feedback scale. Um, oh gosh, I don't know. I'm going to leave that at 100%. For now, I may change that. Is that, uh, is that controller vibration? Is that what that is? I hope it's not, because I hate controller vibration in general. Enemy health indicator visible on hit. Uh, I did this. I did this. And this. Hide ballista zooka. I have no idea what it is nor yet do I know why I would hide it. The default is no. Am I going to hide my tarnished seal? Also, same with hiding sacred glands. Also, no. <laughs> okay. No. Why would I invert? I have never wanted to invert anything. Controller sensitivity? We will find out. Ballista Zuka controller sensitivity? Okay, it's a ballista. Bazooka. Right? So, do we have a... Is this like a... Um, bow and arrow type ballista thing. Okay, well, I thought that could be fun. Uh, I'm not going to be using a mouse, so at least I don't think I'm going to be using mouse and keyboard. Item notification duration. Um, let's, oh gosh, I don't know. Let's leave it on short for now, and if it's not enough, I'll come back and adjust it. Notification visibility. Um, hidden if Mac? I, default, I guess. Shell notification duration um short i you know i i really don't know what any of these are yet so that's 
to my own dismay. Video, motion blur, no. No, never no. Uh-uh, no. Radio blur, also no. I hate it, no. Film, rain. Do I want... Uh, I can't tell if it's affecting anything on screen. I'm going to leave the film grain on for now. Indie mode. What in the world is indie mode? Oh, whoa. Oh, that's a nope. Ew, gross. Okay, brightness. We're going to leave it at that. And right button for audio. All right, this is where, this is where I try to figure things out. Effects volume, we're going to turn it down just a little bit. I have no idea how that balance is going to be made. Music volume, a little bit more. I want to hear the music, but I don't want the music to overwhelm the rest of the game, and it generally does on YouTube for me. So dialogue, 100%. Ambient volume, let's turn that down to eight. UI volume. I mean, it's, I guess that's the clicking, right? Oh, there you go. And it does actively change things. Um, I'll change it. I'll change it to 10. It's fine. Ah, uh, the boss soundtrack. Atrium Carceri. I don't know what that is. Not, not really thrilled with the title, to be 100% honest. So, moving on. Controls. All right. We're going to be just using this controller. The, the left button is the parry. Heavy attack is right trigger. Light attack is right button. Harden is left trigger. B is dodge. Okay, B. And uh, sprinting toggle is going to be clicking the left stick. Sprint hold is B. Um, interact is A. Can live with that. Quick use item. Cycle abilities. Sure, let's go with Y. Picking is X. I think I can live with that. Maybe. Uh, down to equip the Ballista Zooka. Toggling the lock on with the right stick. I think that's what I'm used to. Maybe. We'll see. And uh, open the escape menu or the equipment menu. Okay. Well, I, I'm i going to guess that we are good to go, right? Oh, wait. Uh, I think I just changed. Hold on. I think I just changed that. That was... I did. I just changed that. And I did not mean to. Um, there. <laughs> that was an accident. Is there additional content to be concerned with? Seasonal content is enabled. Uh, boss soundtrack. And there's the credits. All right. Well, guys, I think we've done everything that is involved with just the menus. Short little episode. Seven minutes. No big deal. I'm the Preacher. This is going to be Mortal Shell. And I will see you in just a minute.